there isn't a nicer way to put this. I strongly stand by the fact that a victim of impersonation is as guilty as the impersonator. The impersonator notices that you have a craving, you have a need for something and be keen to it and mess your mind up and then they prey on you. You have to be careful. Why would you send money to someone you you don't know personally on, on a personal ground? How does that even make sense? And then you get scammed and then you now do the work, the research work that you would have done from day one. Then you now find my original account, which is by the way verified. And then you begin to and, and I'm thinking, so you have this common sense and the energy to find the real account. You didn't do that. You waited till you were scammed. And then you begin to send me messages. I do not respond to messages and emails on impersonation. I will not leave my day job to begin to run around town and look for the impersonator while you work and take care of your family. I'm at work. Let's all be guided. Let's all be careful. Thank you for appreciating the work that I do. I have done series of videos on this topic. My colleagues have also done series of videos and sensitization on this matter. Welcome to Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of stopping by or coming across my YouTube channel, my dear good friend, you are highly welcome. Please, I beg you for a favor, smash on that red button that says subscribe. Beside the red button is a notification bell. The essence of the bell is for you to get notified anytime or day I upload a new video so that you will be the first person to check it out. My returning subscribers, I appreciate you all. Those who keep on watching, subscribing, commenting on my video, I say may God Almighty bless you all because I do not have gold or silver to give to you. So guys, like the video you listing at the beginning is a reaction of one of the popular Nollywood actor in the person of Frederick Leonard. He reacted to the rumors going on about uh, Michael Zironye and the issue of Michael Zironye scamming ladies of their money in the name of getting married to them. So according to what he said, and I believe it, I said it previously in the two videos I made, how can you give a man money for the sake of getting married to you? And before you give that money you did not make proper research like he said you did not make proper research about the person you are sending your money all of a sudden when you are being duped you start making research to find the person that you are giving your money and besides why would you a young lady look for husband on the internet this type of thing is not supposed to come out. You are not supposed to come out to say it. Are they saying it so that somebody will pity them? I will not pity you. First, if you are having any business transaction with somebody, whether online or physical, the first thing as a reasonable and matured person you should do is to make proper investigation about this person that you are dealing with. You need to find out if this person is a genuine person, especially something that has to do with internet. You need to know if this person exists. For the fact that that person is using Mike Ezeronye's picture, though it seems people do not really understand this internet. This is one thing I have come to realize on this issue. It simply means that people do not understand how social media internet works how can you because the person uses mike is you think that that person is mike is you are confident with that person to the extent of giving such amount of money without making investigation mike is even released a video where people screenshot uses the pictures of himself and his son begging for money saying that he is critically sick that he needs amount of money to recover and these people are using these pictures uh, uh, collecting money from people 
and at the end of the day he did not see the money. What is that? And yet this one came up again claiming that uh, he doomed her of uh, three a million watts of naira and you want me to believe that mike ezronye did that i would not believe it because mike ezronye have made name for himself assuming this issue came up when mike have not made anything i will agree maybe i will accept it but now if you are telling me that when will mike ezronye have time to be doing all these things mike ezronye is a businessman he's mc he's an actor he is a script writer he is a producer when will he have time to sit down on the computer pressing chatting with a girl asking her to deposit what is three 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 million to mike ezronye so guys i like what uh, fred lick said and i believe all these young ladies that are looking for husband in the internet they learn their lesson from this that lady should even thank god that nothing happens to him to her sorry that they only collected her money assuming they invited her with the money they collect the money from her and uh, delete her maybe by then she wouldn't come out like this to speak and for those of you, I will not say us because I don't do such thing and I will not intend doing it, who are using other people's uh, pictures, especially the celebrities' picture to defraud people, you guys should stop it. It is very bad. I condemn that act. How could you use somebody's picture? Now, do you know what you have caused to Mike Ezeron? Yeah. Many people have not believe up to this moment and speaking with you many people have not believed that mike ezronye did not uh, collect money from that woman just because they are seeing his pictures they are hearing his voice because they do not know that people can for shock somebody's pictures and use it to do something like that so people should stop this the other day, Mercy Johnson cries out on the same issue. According to her, she says somebody opens Facebook account with her name, asking people to pay such amount of money before they could win donations from her. How could you be too naive that somebody who wants to give you something will ask you to pay and you shiplessly pay how can you pay if somebody wants to do something or give you something the person can give it freely right without asking you of anything but the, anybody that is requesting money from you before he or she could do something from for you i will not encourage you to do that because it's not gonna last anywhere so these celebrities they are human beings they are popular if you use their name to do any negative things, believe me, it's gonna tarnish their image, it's gonna bring them down, it's gonna take a lot of time before that bad image that you have created in the hearts of people about them will raise up. So whoever that is using Mike's and um, Mr. Johnson picture and others to defraud people, I beg of you to stop it stop it it's not good the period you can sit in your computer looking for who to de uh, defraud you can as well use it to do something better with your life and the young ladies that are looking for husband on the internet stop it guys write your comment down below until we meet again bye bye this is linda's tv show the home of news welcome to my channel if this is your first time or first day of coming across my youtube channel or seeing my face you are highly welcome please be comment to my next canal my name is linda chukwezi it comment as miguel the red button that says subscribe and you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be able to get information okay. on the bis zum nächsten video und einen schönen tag tschüss tschüss bis mein subscribe to linda's tv show what are you waiting for
click on that red button that says subscribe you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be getting more updates from me leave your comment down below and share this video with your friends families and colleagues until we meet again in my next video bye bye